Martin Jennings here from Blind and Sleep. Just been asked to have a look at an interesting CT scan here. Uh, just started around the mid part of the chest. We can see here the lung fields look quite normal here with no abnormal lungs. If we just scroll down here, we're just looking down here at the right lower lobe. As we scroll down, we see a significant abnormality. It's just starting here. As we go further down, we can see that there's a cavity. It's quite a thick wall. There's some septation through the cavity that extends right down to the costophrenic angle, which is the angle right at the bottom of the lung near the diaphragm. And here's the liver. Now, this certainly looks like a concerning lesion. Uh, it may be infection, but could well be a cancer, so certainly needs to be biopsied. If we look from a bronchoscopic point of view, we go look back to the airways. This is bronchus intermedius coming into the lower low bronchus, sending its apical segment off there. And if we just follow the basal segments down, this is the posterior basal segment, or RB10. Here it is here, posterior basal segment. Go straight into the, the wall of that lesion. And you can see the one of the sub-segments of RB10 there. As we scroll down, it certainly is within that wall and then it disappears. So you can see it there, and then it disappears. And that's a good sign that this will be a good case for radiolibus. Now I should be able to locate this with the ultrasound and guide biopsies to target the wall of that lesion. So I certainly agree that bronchoscopy with radiolibus is a good idea.